gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Math Circus! Introducing Cookie Clown, who will never let you down! Introducing Dumbbell Bay, who lived in a cave! Introducing Mr. Mad Mystic, who's always so optimistic. So, sit down, take a seat, pay attention, and welcome once again to the Mad Circus. And now, here we have Mr. Mad Mystic, the man who is always so cryptic. Well, I predict that this is going to be a really difficult lesson. My crystal ball tells me that you should pay attention. And now, here is Kooky Clown, the clown with the upside down frown! Hi everybody! Are you excited for a new math game? I sure am! Well, by the end of this math game, you should be able to... Write two addition and two subtraction sums to go with a number trio. And you should be able to flip an addition sum to write a new addition sum. And you should be able to flip a subtraction sum to write a new subtraction sum. Won't this be super fun? I think so. Let's get started. Let's get started. Today, we're going to be talking about number trios. Now, number trios are numbers that go together and can help us with addition and subtraction of two numbers. I'm going to need a triangle and some numbers for this. Who can I ask to help me? I know! Mr. Math Mystic! Shall we call him? Mr. Math Mystic, can you help us? Yeah, you got this. Can you find a fabulous triangle for us? You know what to do. Wow! Interesting! Now, we need some numbers! Well, what do you say? Six sheep and... Boom! Five ducks! Fantastic! Thank you, Mr. Mathematic! Okay, we have six sheep. Now together, this six sheep and five ducks make eleven. So we can write the sum six plus five equals eleven. Now, if we take those numbers and put them on our number triangle, the numbers that we're going to add, six and five, go on the bottom. The number that they make together goes on the top. So now we have our number triangle all ready. Six, five, and eleven. Okay, we already know one sum that we can write using six, five, and eleven. And that's the sum six plus five equals eleven. But there's another plus sum that we can write using these three numbers. Do you remember what it is? 
If you remember what it is, write it on your whiteboard. You don't have your whiteboard yet. Well, hurry up! Go and get it! Go and get it! Do you have it? Good. Now remember, you're using the numbers 6, 5 and 11. Write another plus. You can't use 6 plus 5 equals 11 because we already wrote that. But there's another one. Really good. We flip the addition sum and we write 5 plus 6 equals 11. So we have written two addition sums to go with this number trio. All right. How about a subtraction? Remember, a subtraction starts with the biggest number. So you are going to start with the number 11. Okay, you take the number 11 and you take away the 6. So what is your answer going to be? That's right, your answer is going to be 5 because that's the third number on the number trio. So write the whole sum now. Very good. 11 Take away six equals five. Okay, there is one more sum we can write. We can flip the subtraction sum, but we can't flip it in the same way that we did the addition sum. Remember, the subtraction still has to start with the 11. So what are we going to take away? We can't do 11 take away six because we've already done that. So what are we going to do? Very good. 11, take away 5. Finish that subtraction. Write it on your whiteboard. Fantastic. 11, take away 5, equals 6. Super job. So, we have been talking about number trios and we put our number trios inside a number triangle. The numbers we were working with were 6, 5 and 11. Once you know what your number trio is, you can use it to write two addition and two subtraction sums. Alright, so we wrote four sums using these three numbers. 6 plus 5 equals 11, 5 plus 6 equals 11, 11 take away 6 equals 5, and 11 take away 5 equals 6. Isn't that fantastic? That was so much fun! I knew you were going to do an amazing job. Well done! And the Muff Circus is over for today. But we will see you all very soon!